hours ago. What did he have to say about James Harrison signing? Well, Kerry, sometimes the question is asked, what's it like being in a Bill Belichick news conference when you're asking him questions and he clearly doesn't want to answer them? Well, here's a fresh example. The topic is James Harrison, obviously a significant signing for the Patriots, but not one that Belichick cared to go into detail on. Former players now who analyze football who say this move like that is great for intelligence, the idea that he could tell you things about his former team. Do you put any stock into that <coughs> aspect of when you sign a player, any player, and bring more? Playing the Jets this week, I don't really know what that has to do with it. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. In that case, he's looking ahead to a possible game in the playoffs. We'll play the Jets this week. So. Here's the money statistic as to why the Patriots need James Harrison. They signed a player off the Bills practice squad, Eric Lee, on November 21st. He's played 73% of the defensive snaps since joining the Patriots. He couldn't even get on the Bills' active roster. They had that need at the outside linebacker defensive end position. Harrison has played in big games, and the Patriots have more big games ahead. Good piece on EFPN.com sort of detailing the Patriots' need at that position. We'll be in the Patriots locker room later today. We'll see Harrison on the practice field in about an hour. Uh, but now let's go out to Pittsburgh where Jeremy Fowler was in the, the Steelers locker room and he has more for us out there. Thank you, Mr. Reese. It was a quiet Steelers locker room this morning. Not many guys around to answer questions about Mr. James Harrison. But Ben Roethlisberger did come through about 10 o'clock. He stood tall in that media pocket, and he was loose and relaxed talking about his friend Harrison. He even reminisced about a bowl game against James early 2000s, Miami, Ohio versus Kent State. And Roethlisberger made clear he respects the fact that Harrison had to go get a job elsewhere as a free agent, even if it's in New England. James has to do what James has to do. Um, you know, I, I didn't sign. Like he called and asked me if he should or not. You know, James is um, was out there as a free agent. He's going to do what he what he needs to do. What's best for his family. And uh, like I said, I wish him the best. I've had a lot of uh, good years with him. Um, you know, that's on on James. He's, if they want to ask him every single piece of information he has, then you know that's that's what this league. I guess other people do that too. So I'm not worried about it. We don't we don't play them this week. We don't play them next week. So we'll see. Now, Roethlisberger, is he worried about James Harrison stealing plays and giving them to the Patriots? Well, his wife did bring up last night at the house, how much of James, how much of the no-huddle offense does Harrison know? Roethlisberger said maybe a little bit, but no major issues here besides a potential Patriots game is nearly a month away. Now back to you, Kerry, in the studio. Okay, well, Jeremy, thank you for that. Uh, former Patriot Teddy Boosie joining us now. I'm aging, aging, you know, clearly yeah. James Harrison is a tad bit older, not as old as Tom Brady, as he pointed out. Uh, he signs with the Pats. Everyone is asking that question, so I will ask you. Um, you played for the Patriots. You know Bill Belichick well. Signing James Harrison, does that automatically mean they get information? I, I'd say very little, actually. I mean, in terms of a call here or a call there, he could echo some information to coaches and things like that, but it's not going to be, you know, a a class on something they don't know. The New England Patriots already know everything they want to know about the Pittsburgh Steelers offensively, defensively, special teams. If James comes in and gives them a tidbit here, or a tidbit there, that's the most it's going to be, Kerry. It's not going to be something they don't know already. Yeah, because they usually, excuse me, they being the Patriots, are known for being well prepared and, and already they're known for being well educated and scouting. Okay, so here's one. Say there's a play. There's a play when they played the Steelers in this game earlier in the year on third down to where maybe they're not sure what happened here. And then they'd ask him a question about it. I mean, you remember that third down and seven situation where you guys ended up sacking sack and Tom? What? What was that call or what was the situation there? Maybe he'd have some information on that, but, uh, you know. The it's Patriots, not an interrogation. No, it's not. It's not. It's just very flippantly, really. I mean, do you have a call? It's, 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 it's nothing to be concerned about. Ben's right. He can't give them the playbook. He can't give them everything they know because there's so much that is happening during the game that uh, to focus on something that he told us, all right, he said if this happens here, that. We're, we're going to do that. That would be a waste of time. Okay, because there are those that are sitting at home thinking that's exactly why the Patriots signed him. So you tell me, uh, <laughs> what do you think 
Why do you think the Patriots signed James Harrison? The, pa the exact reason why the Patriots signed James Harrison is because they can't get to the passer. You got quarterbacks sitting back there for two and a half to three seconds. Have a cup of coffee back there because the Patriots can't get there. It all started with Ninkovich retiring, Hightower getting hurt, uh, signing someone off the Bills practice squad like Mike Reese said, and him playing 73% of the snaps. Are you kidding me? He's not even here a month A month later. He's playing 73% of the snaps. Somebody off of somebody's practice squad. That's how thin they are. They need a veteran presence. This is a New England Patriot team that may go through Baltimore, then Pittsburgh. Say that happens. They go through Baltimore and Joe Flacco, then Pittsburgh and Ben Roethlisberger. James Harrison knows very well how to pass rush against those. He will not be an every down player. He'll come in third down situations pass rushing situations, apply pocket push, those type of things. He's still very good at, he can very well contribute to this team. All right, he can very well contribute to this team that is